up YouTube? I'm back today. I'm back with something very serious. All right, so I read an article today uh, and reshared it. It's posted by this real cute chick on Facebook. I'm not gonna call her name out though. But uh, I think she might know who she is because I shared the post as Maurice. But it's about this um, 14 year old girl who's going to go ahead and terminate her life. Now, this girl here, she's on a ventilator. She can't really move around and do much of anything. She's in like one of these special wheelchairs, you know, so she can't really get out. And um, she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna do the prom and she's gonna call that her last dance. And she's gonna go ahead and get off the ventilator from that point. And she's gonna go ahead and terminate her life. She spoke of the pain that she suffers physically, but as she also stated, she doesn't have very many friends either. So it's more than just a physical suffering that she's dealing with as well. And that's one thing to, um, that I wanted to talk about. Now, in the picture that I saw, she was a very beautiful young woman, um, but she was different. And when I say different, I mean different by, didn't expect her to, to, to be over here so soon because the pokey stops are here and I'm gonna end up missing out, but this is more important. So I go down here by the dead end and park. But um, when I say she was different, her fashion was different. She had purple hair, and uh, I think she had on like some different lipstick. She was an alternative chick. She was black. Now, I can relate to her on that sense, because when I was that age, I dress differently and act differently and still do act differently. And so any black people out there, if you do act different, keep acting different, keep being yourself and don't follow the crowd. And I didn't have any, very many friends either. And I also suffered the stint of not having many friends because of it. So I didn't have very many friends because I was different and chose to be different and to stay true to myself. And uh, with that being said, I recently joined a group. I think it's called Equality for Everyone. I'll be nice and post the link in the description of the vid. But uh, when it comes to my people, that's one thing that we we got to get together, man. We have to have some unity. There have been a few pages out there, like um, black girls can be alternative to. I think they have black guys can be alternative to or something like that. And those pages are awesome because when I was coming up and I was a bit alternative. When I was alternative, I didn't have anybody. Nobody. Nobody but the Mexicans. And I guess I can be thankful for that because what ended up happening with me being excluded from the blacks and not being able to join all that black ghetto activity and being kicked out of it, I was able to open my eyes to it and see that a whole bunch of it was just garbage. And I'm not saying that, like looking down on it, but 
Hey, when you're walking around talking about shooting and killing people, that's something that don't nobody need to be a part of, no matter what group you are, because you got Asian thugs, Indian thugs, white thugs, just like you have black thugs running around here talking about doing stupid ass shit. So, you know, I was excluded from that for being different. And let's be real. A lot of handicapped people are picked on growing up. A lot of handicapped people are picked on growing up. And it's fucked up. And I can guarantee you that she is no exception. None. One of the biggest highlights in her speaking was she didn't have very many friends. And here she is, going around with this purple hair. And I can tell you what, I went through the hair dye stage myself. I did. I had, like, blonde and shit. I had all this shit before Cisco even came out. Y'all remember that dude? Some of y'all probably don't. But he used to dye his hair and shit, too. I used to get made fun of other shit, and he came out... Oh wait! It might have been not. It might not have been Cisco. It might have been Drew Hill. One of the motherfuckers, um, rappers came along, or R&B singers, or whatever. And all of a sudden, the shit was cool then. Headbands and shit used to wear that. Get picked on for it. Cause I always liked the look of it. I was a Ryu fan from Street Fighter. Loved him. Strong, silent type. Cause I didn't have that much shit to say. Didn't have that much, didn't have that many people to say it to anyway. Because I was always kicked out of the group. Much like this girl, I'm pretty sure. And it's not exclusive to black people because shit. White mentally handicapped people get picked on just as much as anybody else. Mexican handicapped children. Asian handicaps. Jackie Chan got a whole movie about him taking care of his uh, handicap. I think he was the bigger brother, too. It's sad stuff. And I can understand her being in pain, too, because shit, last year I spent most of the year sick. Most of my year we spent sick last year. Migraine headaches. And I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. But there was many nights where I prayed that I died. Just pray, God, please kill me. I can't take the pain. It hurts me to know that another one of my kind are just feeling the same way. I said it before, the freaks, the geeks, those are my kind. And it don't matter what race you are. I'll call you my friend in a heartbeat. I suffer from depression and uh, suicidal thoughts myself. And it was ironic. I was thinking about doing this video before I even saw that. Because the thought crossed my mind. Um, thought, it crossed my mind after I did the speed run in the car. And uh, you can believe with me what you want, but you know I'm Christian myself, so so you can believe in what you want. But one of the reasons I believe that uh, God allowed me to lose my starion is because um, back when I did first start street racing, uh, this is gonna go to Bree T's. Um, when I first started street racing, I did street race, like in the Fast and the Furious. So when I first started street racing, I was a dangerous racer. Very dangerous racer. And eventually I evolved into the guy who will come to a street like this here, where ain't nobody, where two of us will line up and we'll get it on. Or if we're on the freeway, then it's all good. If we see traffic, we slow down. You know, but 
I'm not a track person. I don't like running on the track. As a matter of fact, I don't even like running from a dig anymore. I prefer to do it on the freeway, no traffic, 3, 4 in the morning. And, you know, rip it up to 130, 140, slow it back down. If I die, that's me. But the thought did cross my mind of just ending it all when I did the speed run the other night. I guess that's a confession right there. Because at 140 mile an hour, I could have ended it. Ended all this bullshit. And so those who are new to my Facebook, you guys have no idea what's going on here in Maurice Nilo Miles' life. But it's a bunch of shit. And the thought did cross my mind. But looked at the bigger picture, got kids, so I got to stay. And as I said, I am a Christian, and I know what the Bible says about suicide. So I chose to stay, and I chose to put the brakes on. Instead of running the son of a bitch into a street lamp, and finishing it all off, because I'm worth a whole lot more dead than alive honestly I'm worth more dead to my family than alive monetarily anyway well to my ex-wife I ain't worth shit anyway to my kids I have no fucking idea because they're so young and unappreciative at this particular moment but when they get older and the shit that I teach them now all that stuff sinks in and it works. Anyway, back to this girl and back to this depression and off the suicide stuff. Well, it all kind of ties in. I can understand her. And it's painful to think about it. The difference between me and her is that I can get out of a wheelchair and walk around. I've got function of both feet, legs, hands. I can move around. I don't have many friends either. And that's depressing. I can relate to this young girl sitting at home. Even though she's only 14, I can relate to this girl being at home all weekend and her phone not ring one time let that sink in for a moment it's a crying shame that me my only outlet to the world honestly is YouTube and Facebook. Other than that, my job. Because I drive all over town delivering medical equipment to people just like this little girl who are in pain, who are suffering. Some of them who want to end it. Deal with people who lose their children every day. The parents of these children and me picking up the equipment and doing something simple that I'm not supposed to do like pick up a dirty mattress where the child has passed away just to help ease their mind you know simple shit this is why you be nice to people and unfortunately, I'm going to go back on you black people here. When it comes to... Uh, the fuck is that? A big ass fucking horse or something over there? Okay, yeah, them goddamn horses. Scared the shit out of me. But unfortunately, when it comes to black people and us being different, that's one thing that 
we don't tolerate. We don't tolerate. Not very often at all. Black girls, a kiwi, or whatever the fuck that page is that I like. I like that page because I like the girls there. It's unfortunate that a bunch of them are libtards, but I like their style, which isn't accepted by your average black chick. And the few of them that do got their heads on the shoulder, they're all far away. Can't date any of them kind of chicks, can you? Because they're not here. They're all miles and miles and miles away. Ain't that a bitch? Mm. That's a nice night. And... I don't know if I'm going to sleep well or not tonight, man. Just thinking about that kid wanting to kill her, sir. But also just being accepting and knowing what she feels. The shit that she goes through and went through that's making her make this decision. Well, nobody's making her make the decision, but the stuff that she went through where she is coming up with the conclusion on her own that it's nothing left to do but end it black people be nice to other black people if we're a bit alternative be nice to us okay we're still black we still come from the same origins we still have the same feelings a lot of us still have the same type of upbringings 10.30 p.m. Shut the fuck up, clock. A lot of us have the same beliefs. Up. It's just that some of us prefer to dress a little different. I don't even listen to the same shit as y'all. But we get excluded. So let me update some of you noobs here on my Facebook page. Actually, some of you old motherfuckers who may think you know me, here goes some new shit. Because, see, the first part of um, fixing a problem is knowing... How the fuck it got started in the first place? What did you go through to kind of push you over the edge? Well, I've been going through shit my entire life. That not really many people know about. Some people know about it and some don't. Not very many at all. So here we go. From a young age, I watched my mother get beaten all the motherfucking time. Many times she'd come to a parent-teacher conference with a black eye, a busted lip, broken nose, busted ribs. My father was there, like he ain't do shit, and would talk shit and brag about what he did. I was molested many fucking times growing up on top of that I had you black motherfuckers picking on me because I was quite a bit different the ass whoopings that I got I'd say about 90% of them were for less shit than my kids do that my parents saved my kids from getting ass whoopings for whole lot of ass whoopings for shit that I don't even know what I did wrong so I used to be talkative as hell growing up and eventually I shut down and just started shutting the fuck up because I knew if I went in school and I got well if it wasn't an E in conduct 
or if it wasn't an S in conduct, if it was an N in conduct, I was going to be grounded with an ass whooping. Not, no, just straight grounded. Grounded with an ass whooping. And it wasn't like, oh, well, they're going to take the TV away. Because I didn't have a fucking TV. I didn't have a TV in my room until I was probably, say, like 15 years old. So, grounded, groundings would usually last two weeks straight, no TV, no toys, neither. Of course, I didn't have TV in my room anyway, and I had to be on my P's and Q's at school, because if I stepped out of line, and I got an N in conduct, not a P or a U, just an N because I talked a little bit too much. I'm getting my ass blasted. And I'm getting grounded for two weeks straight. Ain't no going outside neither when you're on punishment. No radio, no TV, no toys, no nothing. And it's not like I had people calling me neither because again, I was alternative. I was different. I was already excluded by my own goddamn people. I had to be in bed all the way to high school. I had to be in bed eight thirty. High school, they got a little more lenient. 10 o'clock. No later. Same principles still apply. I think I stopped getting whoopings, though, around high school. But them groundings, I still better had, uh, better had that conduct up. Because at that time, the grades had already started slipping. I'm still watching all this here shit going on. But less than had stopped. That, that had stopped. That had been stopped. I ain't even tripping about that, but, you know, that did happen. But that had to stop. Oh, and let me add this in here. It was it was molestation by a woman. I ain't get fucked up in no goddamn asshole or nothing like that now. Hell no. Thank goodness I didn't. But the chick who babysitted me did it. Told my ass up too. That pussy was good. Now I know I sound like a chauvinist pig saying that shit though. But when you're little, you don't know any better. And you grow up thinking that shit is normal. And it fucks you up. And so, you know, you grow up thinking the shit is normal. And so I thought it was just I thought it was just a normal thing. I didn't know. Didn't know no better. Didn't know the bitch took advantage of me. Oh well, for sure was good. You should let me hit that shit when I was grown. Oh, so let's move on to adulthood and dating. Never had a good woman, period. Ever. All them bitches, every last one of them I dated, including my ex-wife. Fucked over me. Everybody has up for one. And I fucked that up myself. Didn't fuck it up by cheating on her or nothing. Fucked it up because I had some shit going on. I could move with her. And I had somebody trying to blackmail me over some other shit. And I had to take care of that. And so, like a dumbass in the middle of a big, big argument with that person... Broke my phone, or lost her number, didn't have no fucking internet access, and I think it was about three months or so that I completely lost uh, contact with that person. And this is back in the MySpace days, and so I had got locked out of my MySpace. I remember her name. I'm good. I refound her because I remember. I I remembered uh, her first name. And this was stupid anyway. I mean, it was long distance. But, oh man, her grandparents were crazy about me. 
they would just get on. They would get on the phone. They would snatch the phone from her and get on the phone with me. And then again, it might have worked. Who knows? If I had some money, I probably would have just went. Don't know, man. Wish I would have found that. Because she seemed pretty like a good lady now. But anyways, every woman I've dated has fucked over me. Like I said, besides that woman. Then I'm going to just give her initials because I'm going to tag her. Her initials, A, last name, used to be C. And, uh, good woman. Anyways. In this last fiasco, while I've dealt with everything all through my life, been thinking about suicide, just ending it. Just gun, bridge. I thought about the bridge thing, but I'm scared of heights. And I also thought about hopping off a bridge too, but I'm scared of heights. Gun, thought about that. Hell, wanted to be a car designer, build the world's fastest car, run it to a brick wall. All kind of crazy shit, but anyway, that's about it. That's about my time. My heart goes out to this little girl and anybody else suffering from pain and depression and wanting to end it. I mean, it's your choice what you want to do, but you might have a better purpose in life than just ending it. So, you know, that's about all I can say, man. Y'all take care of yourselves, treat each other with respect, because you never know what people go through. I'm sure a lot of you people never knew <laughs> what I just told y'all now. Anyway, that's it, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Or a good day, or whenever the fuck y'all watch this bullshit.